Greetings, salutations, and all good things in between. What's up, everyone? Matt here. Welcome to the final part in my video series on building a conversation system using OpenAI and AppSheet. By now, you basically got everything done, and what's left to do is just a little cherry on top. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can automatically generate the thread label using OpenAI and the AppSheet API to update the record after you get the response. All right, enough of that. Let's get to it. Oh man, don't you love it when things work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do a little cleanup. Okay, so come back here. So I, in the thread, I don't need to see the thread history. Don't need to see that. Okay, that's that. Um, now, on the thread label, I created a, a, a space for a label for a, a label, but I didn't type in the label of the thread when I was starting it. It's because I want to use AI to create this for me. Why not? Should be fun, right? <laughs> so, like, I could use a very a variable option. Well, in fact, I could use this exact same script, right? But like, instead of adding in the instructions of, hey, respond like a chatbot, I'm gonna give it some different instructions now. I'm gonna tell it to give me a title. So I come down here to my automation, all right? So the first thing it does is it gets a response and it records the response. The next thing I want it to do is I want it to get a thread title, right? So this is another task that's calling a script. It's calling the same script again. So open AI chat. Yep. It's the same thing. And the prompt that I'm sending it. All right. So yeah, the prompt that I'm sending this thing is going to be a concatenate with some instructions in the front. So what do I want to say? Um, give me a short title for the following chatbot support thread, right? And then I'm gonna be like, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna feed this thing the thread history, just like I did in the other one. So I'm just gonna go to this previous thing and I'm just gonna copy what I have here. I probably could have just copied that all together, period, <laughs> to be honest. Right? So give me a short title for the following chatbot chat chat bot support thread. Here's the thread history. Here's the response separator. Good to go. The response is going to be an array of long texts, right? Okay. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to copy this output thing. I'm going to come here and then I'm going to say record thread title. I can spell title. There we go. Thing I'm going to do here is, all right, this is not a data change. This, all right, we're going to get a little fancy here. Uh, we're going to get a little fancy. So this is going to be a task and I'm going to call a webhook uh, on, it works on the messages table using the app sheet API, which I need to go turn on. So I'm going to go over here to intelligent, or I'm sorry, I'm going to go to manage. I'm going to go to integrations. I'm going to go to in and I'm going to enable the API. I'm going to create an access key. All right, back to automation, back over here to my webhook I'm setting up. So through here, the table, it needs to modify. We'll set that up in a moment because this will eventually populate with something. All right, the thing that we need to modify is we're modifying these rows. All right, so what do we need to do? This is where I just go back to the documentation and I say API edit. And this is going to give us how can we update a record. And what I'm really looking for here is like this. Wow, like what's the format that I need to do in order for all of this stuff between this sort of rows square bracket thing. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna open up a notepad and I'll put that here. I'm gonna go back to my app. I'm gonna copy this because this is pretty close to what I need. All right, I'm gonna go up here and let's 
fill this in. So the rows and then all of this sort of stuff. So I can get rid of that. So now it's restricted to one row. I'm gonna close the square bracket and I'm gonna close the curly bracket for the whole thing up here at the top. All right. So I'm gonna indent this so it's easy to see where it is. All right, the thing we need to do. So the rows that I'm modifying, we come back here, here we go. Is I'm modifying the thread record. So the thing I need to do in here is I need to identify the columns I wanna set. Okay, so if I come back to my sheet and I come back to my threads table, first thing I need to do is I need to identify the thread ID that I'm dealing with. Okay, so come here, I'm gonna change this to the thread ID. And then this is from the context of the messages table. So if I come back to messages, I have the ID I need to work with right here in this thread link. So I'm just gonna copy that, come back here. And instead of setting it to this, we're gonna set it to this sort of this sort of template variable thing. Right. I didn't expect to dive into how to use the app sheet API, but you know, okay, whatever. Come back here, go to my threads, and I want to set the label column. Come back here, change this so to the label column. And I want to change this to the output of my API, right? So like this thread get thread title has an output. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my API. And in here, this is where I'm going to say, I need the, sorry, let's zoom in a little bit for you. I need the index of the thread output. I need the first thing out of that. Close the index, close the template thing, close the quote, and then I can get rid of all of these extra things because they don't belong. All right, so what am I doing? I'm editing, and then I'm going to get rid of these. They don't matter, I'll leave the locale. So I'm editing a row where the thread ID is whatever the messages thread link is, and the label is the output of my get thread title number one, the first item in that array. All right, that, if I come back to my, my API call and I come back to the body and I replace everything in that body with what I have there. And let's do a save and verify. So let's try a new thread and see if it works, right? So if we come here and we say, I'm gonna leave the thread label empty, okay? I'm going to go to this new thread. Um, how can I use app sheets to increase my productivity? Let's kick that off. So we should be doing a couple of things here, right? It should be generating a response, which we know works. And it should be giving us a title. Oh, look at this, chatbot support app assistance. Ah! So you can see what it's doing there is the instructions that I gave it for how to formulate the title. It's taking part of the instructions and thinking that that belongs to what it is that I need it to summarize for a title. So there's some engineering that I need to do there with my prompts to kind of clean that up to where it's paying attention to only the things that are being asked and it's not paying attention to, right? And see how all that's going on. Obviously there's a lot that I can do with this sort of setup, right? But you can see there's already the context that's being carried along. Happy days. And that's the end of this video and the end of this whole first installment of this series. Uh, if you want a copy of the app that I just made in this video, there's a link down in the description. Go down there and copy it. The only thing that you need in order to use that is a, an API key from OpenAI. You can just drop that into the welcome page. There's a field right there. It's very clear where you got to put it. Drop that in there and you're good to go. You're ready to use the app. I want to thank you for sticking around. If you found this informative or helpful in any way, maybe like the video, consider subscribing. Uh, it, there's obviously a lot of room for improvement with this system. So if you have any ideas for new features or additional functionalities that could be added in, let me know in the comments below.